Dr. Aresia Pretorius, who had been studying this sort of odd phenomenon of these fibrin amyloid clumps uh, that would emerge in the bloodstream of people with various different pathologies. She had been researching this for years. When COVID emerged, she started looking for these fibrin amyloid bundles in people with COVID and then subsequently in people with long COVID. And her research was very elegantly performed and really beautifully done. And time after time, it was showing that folks with long COVID were experiencing a proliferation of these little uh, clumps of fibrin. Fibrin is a protein that the body produces uh, as a byproduct of inflammation. And it's uh, very, I don't want to simplify it too much, but we could think of it as a very sticky protein. So things attach to it. And then as things attach to it, if you have a lot of fibrin laying down in the bloodstream, you can start to get these little clumps, which were then colloquially named microclots that aren't big enough to block a big vessel, but certainly are big enough to block micro vessels and microvasculature and potentially cause a lot of the the symptoms that people experience when they're told everything's fine, you're testing normal, your blood oxygenation is normal. And yet, if this microvasculature is getting compromised, many of the symptoms that people are reporting with long COVID could certainly be explained by that. And so we had the pleasure to meet Dr. Pretorius as she came out to New York from South Africa to teach us all how to look for microclots. As we started to learn the methodology, we started to see not only did people with long COVID have these fibrin amyloid microclots circulating in their system, we were also seeing evidence that their platelets, which are other sort of blood products that circulate in the body, were hyperactivated, meaning we can think of that as their platelets being inflamed. And when you have that much debris, that much junk circulating in your vasculature, as well as these platelets, which are these tiny little particles that are highly inflamed, also circulating around in in your system, you might imagine that it creates this sort of cyclical issue with the walls of your blood vessel also starting to become inflamed, also starting to get damaged by the junk that is circulating around. Also, as we know from um, Professor David Walt's work out of Harvard, roughly 40% of people with long COVID have spike protein circulating in their plasma. The spike protein we know binds with ACE2 receptors. Our endothelium, the inner layer of our blood vessel, is full of ACE2 receptors. So Well, what we can imagine happening is you've got these spike proteins circulating around, they're binding with ACE receptors, causing inflammation, then you've got microclots circulating, you've got hyperactivated platelets, and suddenly you have this terribly unhappy cycle of the endothelium being inflamed from circulating spike, the inflammation being even worse propagated by these uh, microclots and hyperactivated platelets, and then suddenly you've got systemic inflammation throughout the whole body within your blood vessels. 